Now I've just walked into this absolutely heartbreaking situation. Um, we have owners away on holidays. All these things tend to happen while someone's on holidays. Now there's absolutely no filtration going whatsoever. The amount of sediment all over the pond is absolutely amazing. And the whole thing is full of fish food. So there's an auto feeder that's very effectively been feeding, but obviously the filters have been out and the fish are all highly struggling. So the fish have not been eating the food. The food is polluting the water and there's no oxygen in the water because there's no filters running. And these fish are in terrible, terrible situation and they need urgent attention. I've already pulled a whole bucket of dead fish out and all the rest of them will die very quickly unless we're able to drastically improve this water quality. Now what happened here is I had a huge amount of leaf all, all over the strainer, which clogged up the strainer. And now I did a bit of a backwash on the filter. Um, now we've got the filter running. So we've now got some oxygen in the water. I've also turned off the auto feeder because since the um, trees have been dropping leaves and the customer has been away and normally the customer will um, just fix the leaves himself every few days but over this period of time it's also been super humid and very hot in Sydney right now so this is about the worst time for your fish when you go away so I'm just going to try and scoop out some of the excess food and then I'm going to try and hit the water with some safe to try and detoxify the water, do a nice big water change and get the water tested. Then we'll get the vet out here because some of these fish have got sores on them. I'm trying to get a photo of the sores, but they've got significant bacterial sores on them. So we really want the vet out here to um, give us access to some veterinary medications to stop the fish getting sick. If you have a fish pond, even a very basic top-up system like this, probably one of the best things that you can get. That way, as your water evaporates, it gets replaced small amounts regularly. So if you have a fish pond or an aquarium arranging a top-up, even as simple as that is a very, very good idea. So this pump was trying to run, but because the filter inlet was clogged up with leaves, it couldn't run. And then the filter was trying to work, but it wasn't doing anything at all. I even saw insects flying around inside here. So I did actually backwash this filter. Um, I'm just going to switch it to backwash again. Just backwash it. Okay, so it's now backwashing. Try, trying to run a little bit more water back through the filter. Now, filter inlet's cleaner than it was. I've just removed some water out of the pond so I can take it down and get it tested. The next thing I'm gonna do is put a bit of poly filter in here. Now the reason why I love poly filter is the poly filter is going to help suck out a lot of the toxins that are going to be in this situation due to this overfeeding, um, due to the filter going out. So that looks like a high water flow area that I can put that in. When that turns black, I'll chuck it out, but that'll help to remove a lot of the um, crap that's in the water. Um, now, just due to the fact that this was in my van and I'm trying to grab what I've got access to, a high dose of water ager is going to help to detoxify ammonia, nitrite, nitrate, ammonia and nitrite being the main ones. So this is a very high dose, but um, it's not going to get rid of the problem, but it will temporarily bind up the problem. So it'll give the fish just a little bit of breathing space. It'll just detoxify the nutrients in the water slightly, buy us a little bit of time. 
So this tank is going to need a series of fixes until the fish become good again. Um, there's the, they're the bacterial lesions I'm worried about. That's why I'd like to get the vet here. Because when you get issues like this, in the aquarium trade, we can fix the water quality, we can fix the filtration, but we really don't have access to the same sorts of veterinary medications. So as an aquarium or an, as an aquarist, we really need to have a good relationship with a vet because a vet is going to be able to give us medications that are more effective than we are able to be able to um, give you. Just like if you go to the chemist, a chemist can give you things to solve your problem. But if you want the real good stuff, you're going to go and see a doctor.